What's happening, everybody? Mr. Ben Dobler and I are out on the Metolius. Uh, we are trying to obviously catch some trout out here. So uh, we've come down to the river. We're camped just above it, and uh, we're trying to uh, get at some of these fish that we're seeing rising down here, which should be pretty fun. So uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Uh, caught a few last night, but uh, yeah, nothing too too exciting. So uh, it's on. As the natural light started to dim, the fishing started to brighten up a bit. We both managed to catch a few fish before finally succumbing to the call of dinner and a warm fire for the evening. Hey, good morning. Well, uh, we had a really nice night of fishing and uh, caught some fish. It was, it was pretty cool. Ben got a really nice one. And then, uh, yeah, I didn't do a ton of filming as, I prob as much as I should have, uh, but I was busy fishing, which is not a bad thing. So, uh, yeah, then we just kind of came back to camp, made some food, uh, hung out by the fire, and, you know, went to bed. It was pretty uneventful. But uh, today is going to be a pretty good day. I think we're, uh, we're going to kind of trek up river and start doing some serious fishing and hopefully get into a green drake hatch. We'll probably just curse my, cursed ourselves, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I can still cross my fingers about it, but now I've just been enjoying the morning. It's been, uh, it's, you know, it's very cool at night, but then as the sun starts to come up over this distant ridge, it's just, it warms everything up and it's just one of my favorite times of morning, in, in, you know, in the camp, but uh, yeah, just kind of wandering around the woods, seeing what I can find, and kind of thought came to my head that when I was a kid, you know, that was the greatest thing ever was just kind of exploring around in the woods, you know, and, and I, I think it still is, which is, I think is really cool. Uh, I think the fact that I still have that, uh, that curiosity, I think is a, is a great thing. So, I don't know, just thought that came to mind, but I think, uh, I think the others are starting to wake up, so I'm probably gonna head back into camp and we'll get breakfast going and we're gonna hit the river and uh, looking forward to uh, what the day has. But, uh, I don't know. Hard to beat this though. <laughs> All right.
As Ben and I started to make our way upriver for the day, the familiar cycle started to form, where one of us would fish and the other would sit and watch. This has to be one of my favorite ways to fish. I love to share in the excitement when your companion catches a nice fish, or vice versa. Having a great fishing companion is worth its weight in gold. I think it's of I think it's of the basalt variety. It's a rock. After another great night of hanging around the fire and scheming up new adventures, I woke up and wandered around in the forest again and explored more of what this amazing bioregion has to offer. We took our time packing up because leaving this place is always so hard to do. It's one of the most beautiful zones in all of the Pacific Northwest, and I always feel so fortunate to be able to regularly visit this place. This is it. This is the end of this trip. We had such a wonderful time fishing that river. It's so much fun. Um, you know, it's not always the most productive river, and I think that frustrates a lot of people. And uh, and I mean, I understand. You know, you want to catch a lot of fish in a, on a beautiful river like that, but it really is just about timing, being in the right place, right time, and approach. You know, it's it's crystal clear. So the fish can see you coming and they see a lot of pressure so uh but it's good you know it's good to be it's good to have good days on that river so and i think we had a couple of really nice days on that river uh catching a few fish um all all fun stuff and and just hanging out with ben and amy was really cool uh, uh ben and i last night around the fire we were scheming some future trips so this that's gonna be fun um He's a great fishing buddy and a uh, and great camp partner and all that. So, uh, and a good friend. But uh, now I am gonna I'm heading out on this kind of rough road and I am heading off to a different river to go fish on my way home. But that's gonna be a different episode. So, uh, I think that this was this was one of the good ones. We had such great weather for this, so I'm happy about that. But with all that said, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna 
pay attention to my driving here and uh, mosey on down the road. So we'll see you again next time. Thanks for coming along for the journey. Cheers.